in the million in the melee army rankings, if I recall correctly. Yeah, one hundred percent sure. He was actually ranked fifth in uh, the SoCal PR for melee at one point. Him and Champ actually both were also ranked in melee back in the day. Yeah. Uh, Champ had a combo uh, named after himself. As Fun well. fact: uh, until Ultimate, Champ was ranked in every Smash game <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that he entered. But anyways, here we go. <laughs> Alright, it's the up air there, immediately doing a pretty good combo, and of course Larry's tag is Orca. Just like, he's, he's literally just told me he's a fan of Killer Whales, but so, something people have different things to say, but enough of that one, Larry, great advantage here, tries to go for the daring, immediately putting a stop to Tropical. Yeah, and I just want to talk about that whole sequence. Yeah, I know people are saying, like, hey, roll has armor on Nair, so you can, like, try to, like, get a better landings. Wow, that actually killed. But anyways. But it's just one of those things where you can just dash back away and then just grab him or something at the end lag of it because oh. they most likely want to go into shield anyway. Wow, that was minus one hit. Yeah. Anyways, continuing with these combos, guess that Nair put him off stage. And yeah, just like that, it was so easy to juggle K rule, but there we go. Incineroar in the house. Oh no, and he rolled from the ledge and he's going to send him out. Tropical with a decent edge guard here. Tries to go off stage with the neutral air. Larry goes for that forward air. I like the fact because uh, definitely would have been able to go through Tropical's upbeat. Yeah, for sure. Up tilt to uh, back air definitely could have been a confirm, but just didn't quite read the DI at that scenario. Oh, spot dodges. Gets that back throw. Another chance at control. He knows that his opponent wants to go low, and he does the correct way to edge guard K roll. You go underneath that hitbox and just hit the sitting duck he is. Yeah. And that's what kind of makes K roll a little bit difficult to edge guard at times. People aren't used to trying to go under the actual character instead of going above. Yeah. I mean, usually it's usually difficult because uh, K rolls are hugging the stage while they're doing it. Mm -hmm. So there's no way to go underneath. But Larry has been going deep against uh, Tropical. And I don't think he's used to that. So he wants to elicit these early up Bs and it forces him to go in early. And he has that space to be able to get back airs and forward airs that he needs. Wow, he just tried to dare him and end his <laughs> life. Man, Larry out here for blood. Goes under K roll yet again. And he hits him with that. I feel like he hit him with laser. I wasn't really sure in that back air. Able to snuff him out on the recovery there. Of course, Trouble had to immediately go a little bit higher. So Larry got the back air that situation. Exactly what I was talking about. He went deep on him. He put him off stage. He didn't kill, but he was forced to use up B early. And he had so much space. And he w you saw him. He just waited at the ledge. And he's yeah. like, okay, Falco, you have a good jump height. Even if he goes high, I'm going to catch you with the back air. And you're going to die. Shows his, um, his definitely his veteran status for sure. Understanding different recoveries and how they work. Yeah. And go ahead and handle. Let's go to the next game here. Larry with the first point on the on the board overall. Tropical a little bit behind here. One thing he did do a little bit against Larry here was he able to uh, kind of use neutral error to snuff him out in terms of some approaches here. But overall, just Larry was definitely on him. One thing about K Rule's armor is it is, from to my knowledge, it is a percent threshold. So after a certain amount of percent, the armor will actually crack and you do get shield broken for it. Yeah. So you have to be careful with how much you armor. That hasn't been quite the issue. Instead of just tanking the armor, Lair Lair has been to Oh my god, is that going to kill? No, nah. not quite. That was a good idea from Tropical, though. Big edge guard. Oh, uh, oh okay. <laughs> he actually didn't get the uh, right angle there, and I feel like it would have been difficult because there's a certain portion of the ledge, sorry, the stage, where you even if you get the right angle, you'll still get stopped. Mm -hmm. uh, up throw into up airs. Does he get the crown? Yes, he does. Oh, and he doesn't decide to just camp with the crown and try to get as many hits as possible. But here we go. Pressure situation. I don't know what he hit with him there, but it only got a single hit. I feel like he used the vacuum hitbox to like bring him in towards the hit. That's, yeah. what, I, that's what it looked like in the situation. Great empty hop here. Finally able to see that Tropical is going for the landing neutral and gets the punish there with the forward air. Back throw? I don't think he's going to cook. Well, yeah, it's not, it's not really that big of a kill move until the really, really high percents. Here we go. Another ledge option. What does he go for? Goes for the fair. That's going to be it. Such a strong move, and if you get all the hits in, it's such a damaging and good edge guard tool. Yeah, if you're able to fast fall, you actually get that seventh hit. That's actually really hit, but you have to be careful. Oh, and that's unfortunate. He crossed up on that Nair armor and actually was still able to get a follow up afterwards. Falco's reflecting pretty good in this matchup, not only because a lot of K rolls are used to actually being able to reflect their own crown back, but because he instantly reflects it back to K and it's really hard to react right there after the crown. You get some end lag. Yeah, and again, putting off stage situation, and he has the room to. Oh, did he go too deep? Oh, no, nah, he, he was good. Okay, 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 yeah. I feel like Falco's recovery in this game definitely uh, a little bit fixed, actually. It's bigger than what it used to be. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. Yeah, I, I, the trade off obviously is supposed to be that he has the higher jump height, so <laughs> then he can uh, get back earlier. Okay, what's the mix up gonna be? That tries to go for the up smash, doesn't get it though. Up tilt into the up air, and the classic Falco stuff right there, able to finally get that stop from Tropical. A little bit on the behind here. But he's got Larry on the high percent. If you're able to catch him out, like I said, the reflector is so good in this matchup because you are suffering and lag still after you throw the crown. 
Oh, and lands Nair right in front of him. Okay, down smash. Oh, he's... Or, excuse me, down throw. He's still trying to get the up smash. At that point, I just try to go for forward tilt or up tilt, trying to put him off stage. But landing bear, that'll do it. Last stock situation, potentially for Tropical, but he put Larry at last stock at second game as well. Great up air into back air. Larry almost getting the grab. Definitely saw the fact that Tropical was going to go for a roll situation, especially when it's more close to the ledge. Okay. It's kind of one of those things that you said earlier, right? Now. Well, the mental game, oh, down air into the back air, that does it! Yeah, I mean, that will do it, yeah. And. Yeah. Like we said before, Falco, he's good. He's pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. Alrighty. Definitely one of those characters that has moved from being like low tier to high.